gone six straight appearances without allowing a run. As he sends that one in. A wobbly, as they call it in cricket, and wow! A leaping 360 behind the back snag by Vinny DeRubius. I don't believe what my eyes just saw. Masterful. Vinny! Kiss to the crowd from the Italian Stallion. Have yourself a night, Vincent DeRubius. He had been practicing something tremendous out there in right field, and you just saw what the 360 spin gets Billy out of the eight. Shane Victorino! How about the roar for the flying Hawaiian? And he lines that one into left center field! Shane Victorino walks off the seventh inning! What a banana's debut! A little mesmerized there by the walk-up by Hunter Pence. Big time. Yeah. <laughs> this is a jarring sight. Two-time World Series champion, four-time All-Star. That one bounced through the right side! Hunter Pence has done it! He walks off the third inning! Nanners lead 2-1! to one. The Boston Red Sox. Johnny Damon, who now has the opportunity to become the third former big leaguer to score a walk-off. That one past Dustin Baber! RBI walk-off single for Johnny Damon! And the Nanners are up by a point, one inning into the ballgame. Let's have a base runner. And we've got Bill Arroy coming up in a rather unique fashion. <laughs> With the game potentially on the line here, Bill is running by Ziegler, Maceo, Jake the Magician, our director of entertainment, Zach Frangelo. And this one straight out of Aladdin. Bill lip syncing harder than he ever has in life. And now joining the whole crew at first base for a big finish. Well, the potential game-winning run is on first base. Big 2-1 coming to the king of Dublin, Georgia. Lifts that one out to left center. It's big time trouble. It's all the way to the wall. Ryan Cox rounding third. Bill Leroy's done it. He walks it off. 4-3 victory for the Bananas over the Trey and Thunder. This one is going to be bounced under the diving attempt of Danny Hosley. There it is. The 100th trick play on the door for Ryan Cox, the glove magician. And all of the team is going to go out and give Ryan Cox some hugs. Confetti in the air, and let's send it down to Jesse Cole. First player in Banana Ball history with a hundred trick plays. Eric Jones Jr. Oh, he lights the ball on fire. Kyle Lewigs is Lady Liberty, and he gets a strike on the flaming pitch. What a K! Bill Leroy just happened to keep hot potatoing that ball in the air. It was so hot. Who's about to shoot the banana ball like a hockey puck? The one-two pitch. Oh! He'll throw it. It's lifted out to left center. Diarmeadows there. He's going to backflip and make the catch. One of the wildest plays you'll see in your life. How about that for the Nanners? Down three runs in the inning. They turn to who statistically has been one of their best hitters, and he cracks that one deep to left. Oh, how about the power from Dakota Stilts Albritton? He's not blessed with the speed on the five foot stilts, so it's gonna be a booming single, but that kid continues to rake. I mean, you hardly see batters driving it out that deep to left field on the regular, and Dakota Albritton's doing it on some stilts. A 353 batting average and the OPS plus at 113. Danny Hosley started the inning catching. And after one pitch, Hosley runs over to third base. Catcher and third base are behind him. He is now at shortstop with one of his two shin guards on. As Danny still with the shin guard on. Now takes Michael Deeb's spot in left. Cox goes back to short. Olsen back to third. I mean, Danny Hosley's just roaming everywhere around Double Day Field, and the way Ryan Kellogg's pitching, is he even going to get a ball hit his way? We're at Cooper Sound. 
double day feel. And I mean, Danny Duerdahl doing a first in baseball history, playing all positions in one inning, truly special. Trading spots with Eric Jones Jr. And now Danny Hosley is at first base. Hosley is now going to play his ninth position of the inning. Every single position in one inning. And Danny Hosley wraps it up on the mound with the swinging strike of Bloomer. Hosley gets the strikeout. And what a wild inning of banana ball. Dreams is our buzzword tonight. So three buzzwords for the price of one. Jackson Olsen goes between his legs. Throws a seed across the diamond. And after Sam Clay Camp bets out, belts out friends in low places with the full capacity crowd, he is retired by the greatest showman. 18th trick play on the season for the grade eight. And we go back to the top of the order. Reese Hampton one for three on the night, make it one for four. As he turns around, it gets his first at bat from the left side and promptly flies out to Michael D for the second time on the night. And this is why the Bananas bring DJ the Invader in this situation. Just two pitches and already he has recorded two outs. What will he do here against Dalton Cornette as he nails the first pitch strike? Could be on the edge of history. Cornette bounces it to second. Dalton Malden bobbles it, throws it to first. It's the fastest inning in Banana Ball history. DJ the Invader has done it. For the first time, an inning takes less than a minute here in our young sport. Unbelievable, 57 seconds for DJ the Invader, a new record, and he does it on four pitches for the Bananas. Especially when you consider that Hosley's two for two with two doubles, an RBI, and a walk-off. Dustin Baber with a barrel, but foul, caught by a fan, and that's your ball game. A laser beam from Dustin Baber. What a play by that young man! And the Nanners win five points to one! And the entire team going out there to swarm the fan! That is why you bring your club to a ball game! Game ended by the fans! The Bananas win it 5-1! Are you kidding me? Look at our hero tonight! He's gonna get to celebrate with the Banana Boys as they take night one here in North Carolina.